guys, welcome to Fire Alarm Madness and today I'm going to be doing a little test of a coal point and a sound of beacon base. Uh, I've wired this all myself so I've added a little cable tie on there because I kept accidentally like lifting the cover while I've been moving things in here in the shed. I've added an emergency stop so you press that and all the power's cut off. So yeah, to get testing. So let's get the key out of here. I, I just keep it in this little red box because it has a, it's just a lot more secure. Then I don't want to put it like down on the windowsill and it not and lose it or something. So we're just gonna we can either press it or I think we'll press it. So as you can see, the cable tie breaks like that and you can lift it pull that out and put it on the Which I just all we did was press the coil point. So now we've got to reset it. So let's lift the cover up, and there's a little hole in the bottom of the coil point. And just insert the key, and let it drop down, and then you just shove this bottom bit up, and it resets the coil point. I've also had some issues with the KAC call points because of this bottom lip. Um, I'll show you what's happened on some of them. So you see that little piece there? That's basically what holds the plastic in. And that's sort of worn over time and it just slides the plastic down and it um, just sets the alarm off. But there is a solution, just put a glass in and it usually just works and it doesn't set the alarms off. So that's what I've done. Um, this sound of beacon base was supposed to be Apollo, but it's not. It's actually a foyer. So it's a, it does the same settings, but it doesn't have like the Apollo evacuation, so unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I've had to connect it to some batteries up there. That's why I've got that. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think I've wired this detector in, but um, apart from that, the system's installed. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye.